Hey guys, Eric here. Today I'm looking at Mega Man X2, specifically the Shoryuken secret. Yeah, you remember the Shoryuken from Street Fighter 2? Well, that's in this game. Much like how the Hadouken was in Mega Man X1, well, this game, they had to follow suit with something else, so they have that in it. Now, it's not as cryptic to get. You might remember how you get the Hadouken in Mega Man X, fairly well known, is that you have to go through Armor Armadillo stage five times after collecting every item in the game. Well, this game, it's not so hard. I'll explain, but basically you have to get to the third stage in the Sigma levels. You know, it's called the X Hunters Northern Base in this game, but it's basically the Sigma levels, you know, the Wily's Fortress levels, whatever you want to call it, the end game levels. You need to get to the third level in that, and then you'll find the entrance to the secret. Now, there's a couple things you're going to want to know ahead of time. You don't need to get every item in the game like in the first one. You don't have to do anything special. You're going to need at least one sub tank. And you're also going to need the arm upgrade, which you get in Wheel Gator's stage. I'll show it real quick. But before getting into the nitty gritty, please consider liking and subscribing if you found this helpful at all. And uh, let's get started. Okay, so remember that this secret is in level 3 of the X-Hunter's base. This is Agile's level, but you're not going to know that ahead of time. So you need to get past this tall corridor, the horizontal area. Get to the top, and there's some bats. Yeah, I'm just going to kill them, but what you want to do is lure them over to the screen beside them. I'll show you. And use the crystal hunter on them to use them as a platform to climb this ladder. Now this leads to the sequence that brings you to the shore you can. Also, you see there's health there, that's very important. Alright, so this first part, the main trick, at least what I like to do, is to take damage from the bat and then use that to cross. Now I just take damage from these guys to cross as well. Now for this last part, you can either lure the bat over here or just do what I do, which is use the speed burner. This is what requires having the arm upgrade. You want to do a fully charged speed burner and then do an air dash. There you go. Now you need to use a sub tank to completely fill your health right there. Because if you go into this room without full health, then nothing will happen. But if you go in with full health, then well, we'll just see. So yeah, Bill and Ted reference for some reason. And boom, there it is. Sure you can. Okay, so you have to perform this exactly the same as you would is if it were the fighting game. So it's forward, down, down, forward, and then attack. Remember, so it's forward, down, down, forward, and attack to pull off this move. You have to have full health to be able to do it, and it's really very situational. It's more situation than the Hudouken in the first game, but it's a cool secret. You know that thing from Street Fighter 2 where he says that you have to defeat Shen Long? That actually is a mistranslation of Shoryuken. Yeah, there you go. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed finding this thing, and take it easy.